Hey guys, HTV here, and welcome back to another video going over Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Now, on Friday, I did two videos of the brand new gameplay that Joan Berwick, well, Cerebi, got to go and play when they went and played like two hours of exclusive gameplay. He uploaded six different parts. I've already done two of them. Today, I'm doing another one. It's around the Viridian City area and the first, the second rival battle and stuff like that. Tomorrow, I'm going to do like Pewter and stuff like that. So, we're going to do like a video a day because there's like four more to go over. So, if you guys are excited for this, video please do drop a like down below it really does help out the video the channel all that good stuff be sure to leave a comment as well what do you think about these games is this gameplay making you want the games even more or are you still like now nah, it's definitely not on my christmas list without further ado though guys let's get into the video and i really hope that you guys enjoy so starting things off, we have the character just getting into Viridian City, and you're greeted by your rival, uh, who goes, huh, you look pretty pleased about uh, something, Cerebi. Oh, you beat another trainer. Good job. So we have another trainer from um, Pallet Town to Viridian City, which we never had before, apparently. Well, that's what they're saying anyway, but we never had a trainer on Route 1, I don't believe. So we've got a trainer there now, so I don't know what Pokemon they're going to have. Probably a Rattata and a Pidgey, but that's something new in the games. Anyway, well, since we're on the topic... Uh, the Pokemon you sent into battle might have just lost. You should take them to the Pokemon Center. It doesn't cost any money and doesn't take long at all either. So it's just like one of those um, people that takes you around the place and it's just like, oh, there's a Pokemon Center, there's a Pokemon Mart, this is where you do the gym, whatever, whatever. Uh, just remember, heal up after battles. This ain't my first rodeo. I know how to play Pokemon. Anyway, then goes on to say, oh, no, it doesn't go on to say anything, just runs away. It does a full turn there. And obviously, the rival, I'm pretty sure, runs to the bit near the Pokemon League on the left of Viridian City where you usually battle your rival again. Anyway, here we have the gameplay of you just basically exploring Viridian City. So we have a, uh, the Pokemon Center here. Pokemon Center looks really cool because we have the Chansey in, in next to Nurse Joy, which is really awesome. We have the map here. Uh, we have, I don't know what this is. I think that's the the, the Poke Go Park thingy. Uh, so already has an Oddish, by the way. Already has an Oddish. So maybe you can catch Oddish on Route 1. Um, because this isn't like one of those demos where Pokemon have just been implemented into it. They actually got to start the game from the scratch. So you do get an Oddish. Oh, like Route 1, which is crazy. So, yeah, I think this is the go part, though, where they just talk about, obviously, where you can get all your Pokemon Go Pokemon from. Anyway, so, um, yeah, it's just interesting you can get Oddish already. That's really cool. Obviously, we already know we can change clothes and stuff like that because we already saw that in the last video. Um, then all these Pokemon people, I guess, just go into detail about all the different things you can do in the Pokemon, uh, in these Pokemon games, apparently. Then, obviously, leave the, the Pokemon Center. Just explore Viridian City right now. Uh, got another kid there. Obviously, there's an item up here. He's going to go get it. Of course, he's going to go get it. He knows how to play Pokemon. Of course, he's going to go get this. Uh, so, I think there's usually... Oh, there's no item here. No, it's just secret this time. It's a potion now, so that's awesome. Um, obviously, we got cut there, but I, I don't think you have cut yet. You get cut on board the, um, the, the SSN from the Cut Master. We've already seen gameplay of that already. Um, but he's just running down. He's obviously going left. What's he doing? He's looking into his bag. What's his bag doing? We've got obviously we got all these different things that I went over last time. We've got the Pokemon box, where obviously that's where you store your Pokemon because you can just switch out Pokemon whenever you want now, which is a really cool feature. And I really hope they keep bringing that back with all the new Pokemon games, such as Generation Seven, Gen Four remakes, everything like that, because it's just going to make life so much easier. Medicine pockets, obviously for potions. TM caves for TMs. Power pockets, Fire Stones, and your PP ups and your proteins and Zinks, everything like that. Candy jar is your Pokemon candy. The clothing trunk is your clothes. Catching pockets, your Pokeballs and your berries. The battle pocket is your X attacks, your X specials, and then the Mega Stones, apparently, even though you can't hold items in this, so I have no idea what that's going to be. And obviously, you have your time up as well. I'm just very interested about the battle pocket because obviously, we know that there's no held items in these games, so um it's very it's very interesting to see how they're gonna just really do mega evolution in these games because we've not really not really figured out much about it yet all we know is that mega evolution's in the game um and then that's all we have so we've already got a nano berry and some raspberries now so it's cool to see what we're gonna have at the start of the game and stuff like that anyway route 22 i love the whole route thing in the bottom where it comes up looks really really nice so there's no pokemon appearing here obviously at the start because you, you don't get random encounters anymore you literally have to run up to the pokemon to get a do a battle with it or whatever oh hey Cerebi, you're hoping to make it to the pokemon league someday too then you can battle the strongest of all pokemon trainers the ones they call the elite four i was hoping maybe i could get a glimpse of them but the guard in the game won't let even me pass without any badges uh, i guess i just have to get there in a long way so Cerebi, i guess that means it's on so you battle them already so i don't i can't remember what levels joe has at this point obviously just showed it um i won't pay attention to that but you battle your rival again here he has two pokemon sends out a pidgey I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same team in both games. Obviously, just depending on Pikachu or Eevee, which version you get is what your rival's going to have. Are they just going to be level 9 again? No, he's level 3. Okay, that is an insanely l huge level drop. These Pokemon, I do believe, are usually level 8 or 9. 
and it drops to level three. That is an insane drop in difficulty because this rival battle is usually pretty difficult. Um, but to jump from like level eight, nine to three, that's insane. Like you just one shots it. Oh my lord, that level drop is horrible. What's the star power one going to be then? What is the star power one going to be? What level is it going to be? Obviously, Eevee's coming out. Um, Eevee is going to be a level seven. So, huge drops in the levels, really. I believe it's two level nines usually. Um, big drop on the level front for your for, for your second rival battle. Uh, I think it's just going to be like Thunder Shocks and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I knew these games were going to be easy, but to the extent where they're kind of just making the levels super, super low than what they should be, is a little bit like, come on, like, what are you doing? What are you doing with that kind of stuff? Um, but he's just spamming Thundershock here. I mean, we don't really need to watch this, to be fair. Um, goes up to the Eevee. Uh, another Thundershock, gonna take out your rival. Boom, Eevee's gone. Don't like watching Eevee fame, but it happens to the best of us. We've gotta watch it. Goes up to level eight. I mean, as we all know, you can catch Pokemon before your first rival battle in this game, which is um, very, very strange. But obviously, it's brand new as well. Obviously, your Poke I mean, we get the XP shirt at the very start as well. These Pokemon are all just growing levels. So I think, honestly, all the levels are going to be super low. And then we're going to have like super high levels as well with all the experience share and everything like that. But we'll have to see how it unfolds because this is like such an easy start to a Pokemon game. Anyway, hmm, maybe you're battling like this is just helping you get get what all oh, the suspense what's he gonna get oh he's helping you get okay let's skip it uh helping you get uh my lord what's going on oh okay i don't even know why he said that let's train hard and then he runs off and that's kind of that uh how long we got we got like a minute left of this gameplay oh we go straight into pikachu so maybe after you win a battle with pikachu pikachu seems like it enjoys playing with pokemon rival yeah so maybe you can just maybe obviously just boost friendship i guess i mean that's what makes sense then we obviously have more of this uh, Viridian, left of Viridian City. We have a Rattata here. I uh, don't see any new Pokemon popping up here at all. Um, just one Rattata, no Pokemon. No Pokemon pop up in the ocean. Can you get the rods in this? I'm not sure if you can get the rods in this game um, or not. Because obviously with the rods, it's random encounters, isn't it? So I don't know if, I mean, is it just, obviously they appear when you're surfing on like Lapras and stuff like that or on the surfboard. But it if they don't show up like, I don't know if you get rods in this game. I'm not actually sure. Never even thought about that. I don't know if that's in, actually in the thing, but obviously we got the Pokemon League here. We've got an item down here. I, was this item always here? It is a, it's five Pokeballs. Okay, so that, that wasn't there before, but remember guys, when you start playing Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, come to this place, you get five free Pokeballs just like that. You can get more than one item as well, apparently now, when um, you can pick things up, you can get more than one item. That's really, really cool. And then obviously just runs off to the right. And then that's kind of it for this gameplay video. We've got a Rattata there. So only Rattatas are available in this place at the moment. Okay, so key points from this gameplay really that we can talk about is that your rival was really bad. Now, it basically shows you around. Um, we obviously have Nurse Joy here and stuff with the Chansey. Uh, we have the map there, the, the Go Park there. Um, then we obviously have the rival battle. The rival battle's level is super, 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 super low. Um, little bit unfortunate for me really to have to have levels that low for your second rival battle i mean it is what it is like the games are very very easy um from what i'm seeing maybe it's just an easy start maybe it's just a, a really really easy start to kind of like ease new players into the games that would be really cool and then maybe because we've already seen like brock's levels are the same i think erica's levels are lower or they might be higher i think i've seen that i think Surge's levels are lower. Star uh, Misty's levels are definitely lower because I know Starmie is a lot. I think Starmie is like three levels below what it usually is. It's, al it's already it's usually like level twenty one or twenty two. It goes down to like eighteen or nineteen, so that drops a few levels. So a lot, a lot of the gyms do drop levels, um, and I think that's just how it's going to be. Unfortunately, I think these games are just going to be super easy. Just I mean, these games are aimed towards a more like a wider audience a more casual audience kind of thing so the games are gonna be super easy so i think the games are gonna be easy to complete um i think personally obviously i'm super excited for the games i can't wait for them to come out um but personally i think i don't know if the long long longevity is gonna last with these games like with Switch moon i think because they're gonna be so easy unless there's a hard mode that you can unlock i think that'd be a really cool idea i think these games are gonna not be super fun to play like constantly even though they look incredible 
and all all of everything we've seen about the game looks incredible and it looks really really nice i think if the game is super super easy why are you going to want to keep playing it if you're just going to if there's no challenge you know what i mean like when i play pokemon i would like somewhat of a challenge and so far when the levels are dropping this much from like nine to three or whatever i don't know that's just my two cents on the situation but what do you guys think about this do you, what do you guys think about this gameplay are you happy that your rival levels are so much lower do you, do you like the fact these games are super easy or would you like them more of a challenge would you like there to be like a, a more harder difficulty version i don't know but that is everything for this video though guys i really hope you guys did enjoy if you did please drop a like down below it really does help out the video the channel all that good stuff be sure to uh subscribe as well if you're brand new i do daily pokemon content and live streams on this channel we also do let's plays top fives rom hacks news videos anime videos everything like that be sure to follow my twitter twitch instagram channel discord and patreon all can be found in the description down below but that is everything from me guys thank you so much for watching have an amazing rest of your day and until next time guys peace